Hello parents. Today I'm going to walk you through what we do in class for problem solving, which is using the acronym of RUBIES. You may have heard your child come home talking about RUBIES or heard a teacher talking about RUBIES and I want to explain what it is. RUBIES is basically an acronym that each letter stands for something that they need to do in the story problem and it's really just a way to basically let them slow down and understand what the problem's asking them to find. Okay, the R stands for them to read the problem at least twice. We talk about um, that you may miss things the first time, the second time, and sometimes even the third time, but we ask them to read the problem at least twice. So I would say, I would have a student read, Quincy needs 23 cupcakes for a birthday party. He already has six chocolate cupcakes and seven vanilla cupcakes. How many more cupcakes should Quincy buy? So they read it one time and they are going to put a check by the R. Then they would read it again. Quincy needs 23 cupcakes for a birthday party. He already has six chocolate cupcakes and seven vanilla cupcakes. How many more cupcakes should Quincy buy? Okay, we've read it at least twice. Now tell them that twice is not the magic number. If you don't understand what the problem is saying, then you need to read it again. And then we move to the U. The U tells us to underline the question. So we ask them to find the question mark and to underline what the question is asking us. How many more cupcakes? Sorry for the movement. How many more cupcakes should Quincy buy? Okay, so we've done the U. Now the B comes in or it's asking us to box important numbers in words. Okay, he needs 23 cupcakes for a birthday party. He already has six cupcakes and seven vanilla cupcakes. How many more tells us that we're going to be, that's a key word, how many more, a lot of them see how many and think we're automatically going to add. How many more tells us that we're going to be subtracting, but we're going to have to do more than one thing. Okay, so we boxed important numbers and words. The I stands for illustrate. They can illustrate the problem drawing a picture. They can illustrate the problem doing a list. They can illustrate the problem doing a strip diagram. Um, I like to make a list for this kind of problem. Okay, we know that they have six chocolate. I'm just going to abbreviate chocolate. And seven vanilla cupcakes. Okay and that they need 23 cupcakes. How many more cupcakes should Quincy buy? Well, they know that they're gonna need to add six and seven together. So six plus seven together is a total of 13 cupcakes. And then they're going to need to take 23 minus 13 to figure out how many more cupcakes they should buy. So you would say, and if they need to draw a base 10 picture to figure out the subtraction, um, or doing the standard algorithm, three minus three is zero, two minus one is one. So they need 10 more cupcakes, okay? We kind of did several problem or several steps together. Illustrate, illustrate is where we use the list. Okay, we solved the problem already. Okay, when we got our answer, the E stands for explain. You might just have your student explain to you in words how they knew that they needed to combine the chocolate and the vanilla, and then subtract from the total to see how many they needed left or they could write it out, an explanation. I knew I needed to add these two together because I needed to find the total. Either way um, is acceptable. 
And I hope this helps you make sense of rubies. It's really just a way for students to slow down and understand what the problem is asking them.